I'll call the meeting to order. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. January 16th, 2024. That's scary. <laughs> So the meeting's in order, the staff is going to review remote proceedings. Yep, I will do this as quick as possible. Uh, so Greg, you haven't seen this before. I'm going to be sharing my screen. The share screen part is mostly for people who are watching over Orca because we stream this live. Oh, I have my cheat sheet. OK. Um, for anyone who's viewing tonight's design review committee meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in the discussion um, by either typing this web link into your browser, either on your phone or your computer, um, and I will get a notification that you want to come into the meeting. Or you can dial this phone number and when prompted, put in this meeting ID. Um, if anyone is having problems accessing the meeting, please email me at mcrandall at montpelier-vt.org. Um, for everyone attending via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. Um, but we do ask that you keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking. This reduce, reduces background noise and, and conflict. Um, ben, a reminder, because you did phone, you phoned in, but I don't know if you did officially. Anyway, I don't know if you've got the all the app stuff on there. If you don't, star six is to mute and unmute. Um, a reminder to reserve the Zoom chat function for troubleshooting or logistics questions. And all we have is members, Orca, and an applicant. So um, I'm going to skip to the bottom and say that if the uh, public is unable to access this meeting, and I would get notified via my email on that, then the meeting will need to be continued to a time and place certain. I will hand this meeting back over to Eric. No, the, the first next item is the approval of the agenda. Do I hear a motion to approve the agenda uh, with the, yeah, the uh, exclusion of officer elections? Yeah. Both yeah the, the weather and attendance. Yeah. Yeah. This is Martha. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. With the, with the uh, elimination of officer elections? Correct. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll second that. Liz. Aye, Eric, because I. Uh, uh, votes, Martha, Liz, Ben? Yeah, yes. 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 <laughs> Thanks. No comments from the chair. Our first application is 3240 Main Street, Abishan's first new signs. Uh, so, Greg, you can uh, describe, I can uh, pull the application up on my screen, but you can go ahead and describe what's happening while I'm getting that pulled up. I, I am so, here at the store. Oh. Go ahead. It, the, the, you might need to turn your video off. The, it was stuttering there for a minute. So, uh, what we're doing here at the store now that we've uh, remodeled, uh, we're going to be putting in some new signage, um, you know, to reflect um, our new branding. Um, as uh, some of you know, we we're just speaking about how Abishan has just recently joined forces with the Ace Company, and it, uh, I mentioned, um, you know, Abishan has uh, bought in to and bought shares of the Ace Company be to become one of their members, um, and we wanted to reflect that on our new sign in our building. And these signs are the same size as the existing signs. Same, I, I know correct. it's more area, but they're the same height. Twenty-nine. That is correct. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to clarify one thing. So the the these are sort of rebranded. I actually approved those changes administratively because it was really just content um, for the Ace Abishan and the the these things, those were all the same size and the same content. So yep. we can't actually regulate content, but this here is brand new. The family owned since 1908. That's the new sign that the design review has jurisdiction to review right now. But that, but that sign is the same height and it looks like the same font. No, it isn't the same font. It's a slightly, I think it's a different font, isn't it, Greg? 
Yeah, but it's it's the same, like, it fills in that space that was there before and is the same sort of stylistic, general style, I think, right, as these. It's just that the content is different. Is, is the sign that made of the same materials, Greg? Yes, it's all uh, made of metal. Um, and okay. in that particular area of the building, um, you know, when they we took over the flower shop or where the previous owner was the flower shop, um, and we expanded in there, we had never replaced the sign. So we were just trying to take advantage of uh, all this to, uh, you know, improve the storefront. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there a sign ban or are you going right into the bricks to, to put that sign up? Right there on the, that particular portion of the building, there's actually wood fascia Okay. Um, that you, that yeah. you can't see on the on that uh, picture, but there's some wood fascia there. Oh, there, there's a good uh, example of it. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else have any other questions about it? Well, I, I was just wondering if the new sign, family owned since 1908, <laughs> maybe it's not con won't be confusing to people, but because it is not a a slanted font like. What do they call it? Italic, italics, um, like the other, you know, Ace Abishan Hardware and Paint Center. It almost looks like it could be a different store, but you know, not associated with Abishan. But um, I don't know. That's just my thought right now. It's it's maybe it's clear enough, so it's fine. But it's just a, a thought I had. Is the paint center font slanted? It it looks straight up yeah. and down to me. Oh, okay. No, it's slanted to the right. You okay. know. Okay. Right. Benjamin Moore is not, but that's obviously different. Yeah. Just wondered if maybe it was intended to be slanted and it wasn't, but I think what they were trying to go for with the family owned since 1908 is to make it look vintage, kind of like, you know, what their signs look like more traditionally when Avishan, you know, uh, first became a company. It's a, it's a little more vintage looking. Oh, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's okay. close. I think it's even closer to the old summer store sign. Okay. That's interesting. Any other questions, comments? No. Nope. I'm nope. gonna fog the sheet here and I will do that as soon as I find a pen. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Okay, I'll read off the criteria and say what I'm checking. The size, location, design, color, texture, lighting. Is there any lighting on this, by the way? At this time, there is no lighting on the building. Uh, well, interior signs shall be compatible with the buildings. That's... Uh, Acceptable and appropriate to signing shall in the original sign placement and sign bands. Acceptable. If the building has multiple tenancies, shall be uh, consistent in placement. That's not applicable. It is recommended the sign placement be centered over building enters. That's acceptable. Sign installation so minimize damage to the character defining materials of building acceptable. It's being modded in a sign band. In masonry buildings, not applicable because it's on the sign. Sign design, color, and topography show respect to store questions for appropriate and should be the appropriate scale for the building acceptable. Hmm. 
client support system shall be compatible with the building acceptable. Lighting fixtures not applicable. Lighting fixtures for signs smaller than all buildings will be designed for not not applicable. Uh, okay. Uh, all in favor? Uh, this is Martha. I say yes. Ben says yes. Says yes. Yeah. William says yes. <laughs> I got I got five yeses. <laughs> Okay. Uh, vote five zero in favor. Okay, I uh, I think we should uh, postpone the minutes and stuff until we have. Um, uh, oh, we've actually Williams here now too. So we've um, got Martha, Ben, William. Uh, we've got three of the people who were here at that last meeting. Okay. Okay. Um, this is Martha. I'll make a motion to accept the meetings the way they're written, the, the minutes I mean. I'll second that. All in favor? Martha, I say yes. Ben says yes. William says yes. Uh. Eric's abstaining because he wasn't at the meeting. Same with same with me, Liz. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's three yeses. Good. Awesome. Any other business? Uh so just two things, Greg. So we I will get that permit issued as soon as possible. I will email you when it's ready for you to come pick it up. Um Perfect. And then uh, I mentioned this before the meeting started to Martha and Liz, but for everybody else who's on tonight, just so you know, uh, design review will be in person and Zoom. So we'll go back to our hybrid uh, in city council chambers starting February 5th. Um, if we have something really with, with tons of public interest or lots of people anticipated, um, we may have to find another space. We may have to be over in senior center or something. In their basement area because the um we may be limited to just council chambers and not being able to access the memorial room next to it um at some point because that memorial chambers may be converted to some office space in the not too distant future but um our general meeting space will go back to design review to city council chambers um with the option for people to zoom in if they have to but um hopefully for for people to be coming in person again um so i will i will re go over those procedures when we get there but um i'll need to actually get some name tags again <laughs> find yeah. i think these, i think those name plates survived the flood i think we actually saved that bag i don't think the volunteers threw those out so i've got to dig around and, and find them and uh, maybe have some new ones made for for william and rebecca although I've seen some old, old ones in there. So, William, it's possible we still have your nameplate. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be hilarious. It, I've seen, there's some in there that were people who I, I, I never met. Um, and I've been here for over five years now. So, it's possible. You never know that he doesn't like to throw things out. Anyway, welcome, William, again. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, great to work with you again. Um, so that's that's all of my business. Okay. okay. Let's and, let's close it up. Do I hear well, a moment? Uh, turn? Well, just a, just wanted to to mention one more thing. I know I'm sorry I missed um missed the beginning of this, but I know that the last meeting we and I, we can't talk we shouldn't talk about a, too much about elections right now, but we postponed it because Eric was not present and did not know his intent for the for the next term. So just wanted to br you know bring that up so that we're all hopefully all prepared next time. Yes. Uh so we yeah, cuz we we've pushed it again um because we weren't sure who was going to be on um and we're just trying to get moving on it. Uh Eric, did you want to talk anything about whether or not you want to continue or not being vice chair? I'm open to continue to be chair if somebody else is enthusiastic about being vice chair, I'm not chair, but vice chair. Uh, I'm 
certainly willing to step down. Okay. So just something for people to think about um, and feel free to talk amongst themselves because anybody who wants to be um, chair or vice chair needs to have somebody to to make the motion um, to nominate them. I know Steve said that he would be happy to continue being chair, um, but it's also not necessary. So um, he was he was willing to to be nominated in absentia, uh, but also if other people wanted to, to take over the role, he was happy to to just be a regular member. So maybe for everybody to just think about it, maybe talk with. Talk with somebody else if they want to um, uh, between now and the next meeting, which is about three weeks away. Okay. Okay. Now, I would entertain a motion to adjourn so we can all get back out in the snow. Okay. <laughs> this is Martha. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. I'll second that. Liz. All in favor. Martha. Gary. Liz. That's enough. That was for, I think, I don't know if Ben realizes he's muted or maybe he had to drive maybe somewhere. Yeah. Okay. All right.